Gary, first win of the season. It's fair to say that your boys put a shift in this evening. Yeah, it was um, a well-earned three points, hard-working three points. Um, I can only speak for the first 45 minutes because I didn't see the second 45 minutes. Um, but nevertheless, fantastic to get our first win of the season. Um, and hopefully that's that's a kickstart that we've been looking for and we sort of do a little bit of chasing now and, and get somewhere in that top half quite quickly. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to ask what, what happened during the half-time interval. I, I, I asked the referee, uh, I, I questioned why he didn't give us a penalty for a foul on Marvin, which I thought was a penalty as clear as day, even more of a penalty than the one he gave. And I questioned why he screamed at the top of his voice, advantage, which ended up being such a good advantage that 10 seconds later it was in the back of our net. Now, it's, you know, it's very one-sided. We're all taught to respect the referee's integrity, integrity sorry, which I do. But who, whoever respects our integrity, I've paid thousands of pounds to the FA to get qualified as a coach. This is my livelihood. I haven't got a leg to stand on. I got in trouble last year. I turned up at the FA and they rolled out a barrister to defend the referee and I turned up by myself. So, you know, if I go down that route, um, I haven't got much chance of success and it, it's not fair. The standard so far this season has been poor and you can't engage with them because if you question them, the you know, their response is aggression. So what can they do to make me look bad? All I'm doing is asking why he didn't give a penalty and why he played advantage. Well, he said advantage to us resulted in their goal. Is it a view shared by other managers, do you know, in this league, like the standard of officials? Listen, they've, they've, they've promoted a lot of young lads. and um, But this is this is a good standard now. We... You know, I get this is my profession. I, I get paid for doing this, and on top of that, I'm I've, I've travelled down here. Was it three and a half hours? I'm told I can't come out and watch the second half, and I've got to be locked in the dressing room, out of sight. I'm 48 years old. I've got to be locked in a room. What is all that about? Uh, before obviously all those unsavoury incidents, you made the decision to take off Nick Makuti after he'd been booked. Just a case of making sure he didn't get sent off, I presume, with some of the decisions going on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I like Nick. I, I love him as a as a as a guy, as a player for the team. Uh, I've seen that twice now, and I've, unfortunately for me, I've, I've had to take him off both times where he just gets a little bit close to the to the edge. You know, his his repose is that. I want to see that passion in his play, and I do, and I do. But if you've just been booked, and then you know you show the the goalkeeper six studs thirty seconds later, and you you draw attention to yourself, you're asking for a bit of trouble. Uh, then I look a fool because I'm in taking players off for so they don't get sent off, and I end up getting sent off myself. So there you go. I'm looking forward to Saturday trip to Hamilton Waterloo. I understand you you watched them last night. What do you sort of test do you think they'll be? Just to, they're all good teams now in this league. Um, the standard of coaching's better. The organisation's better. The players are better. Um, so all that's better. So hopefully everything else will catch up soon. Otherwise we're all wasting our time. Okay, thank well, you very first much. First things first, Frankie. Is the winning goal yours? Oh, of course, yeah. I think uh, I just made a bad free kick of straights look half decent by running across running across it early. So, um, yeah, I'm delighted, obviously, to get a goal on that. But most importantly, the three points, you know. Like, we've had a tricky start and we had to come in and get some points on the board today. And obviously, making it three points is overwhelming. Like, it makes the trip home far much better and we just need to try and kick on now. So, was it the slightest touch off you? Were you deliberately trying to divert it in or did it sort of hit you on the way through you made a bad free kick look good you say well I sort of just made a run early just to try and get maybe onto the rebounds if he hit the target you know from the keeper because it was a bit dewy like a bit wet you know but uh, it happened to just glance off my chest as I ran across and I think the keeper's already made a step across goals so it was uh, yeah I was happy to see it go in and uh, I thought we were brilliant after that you know to hold on to the uh, it wasn't pretty at times, but the most important thing was uh, just winning the game from there, and uh, I thought we, we managed the game very well from there. Yeah, re-battling performance, as you say, and you had a few battles in midfield with the likes of Noah Keats, former City man as well, and you're back at captain as well as at the moment. You're enjoying the extra responsibility, if you can call it that? 
Well, yeah, yeah, you know, it's always, it's always nice to captain a team and that, but I think we've got a few experienced players and that, and everyone says their bit, you know, and organises and that, so it doesn't make much difference who's wearing the armband, you know, there's a lot of good lads out there and um, we all try and help each other, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's obviously, obviously nice and that to, to lead the team out and that. And uh, we spoke to Gary after the game as well, so he didn't see the second half. Did you hear that incident at half-time where he was sent off? Well, no, I wasn't sure what happened, you know. I think the the uh, referee accused him of saying something or another, but he was adamant he didn't say nothing, so I'm not too sure on that. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't know what to say there, really. I think, well, Nick got booked in that, and then he made a bit of a rash tackle. I, I don't think there's nothing in it, but I think he came off just because it was important to keep 11 on the pitch because... It was, it was a big game and we, we had to get some points. So if we went down to 10 men, it would have made it ever so hard. So uh, it's just, yeah, it's, you look at it, obviously Nick was disappointed to come off in that, but we managed to hold on and he'll hold his hands up. He knows it was important for us to get three points and we'll move on, you know, and uh, we're, we're a team all together and that's, sometimes things like that happen. And I'll be hoping to move on on Saturday against having to Waterlooville. We've unbeaten so far this season, so tough game. Yeah, yeah, a bit like these today, though, you know, these were unbeaten and uh, we came down here. Sometimes when you haven't won, I think it's, it can be better going away from home, I think, you know, a bit, I don't know, they say a bit of pressure off you and that, but I think sometimes when we're on it, we put in some good away performances, the way we play and that with pace and that, and it does suit us a bit. But, yeah, I don't see why not. We can't go there now. We could get a bit of confidence today, you know. I think if it was a different scenario coming in today, I think we maybe could have seen the game off and got maybe three goals and seen the game out a bit more, but... I think we were a bit cautious because we didn't want to get caught, so we, we just stayed in and were solid and just made sure we didn't concede again. Absolutely. Well, we'll let you enjoy your post-match meal now. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, lads.